Hey there, young explorers of the math world. Ready to dive into cool math challenges? Dive right into our Math Quiz for Kids channel for some exciting math challenges. And if you're ready for the fun, give us a thumbs up and subscribe right away. Are you ready? So, let's go. Question one. Three times nine equals what? So the answer is three times nine is 27. To calculate, we have three groups with nine balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 27 balls. Question two, four times six equals what? So, the answer is, 4 times 6 is 24. To calculate, we have 4 groups, with 6 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? Yun, 24 balls. Question 3. 5 times 5 equals what? So the answer is 5 times 5 is 25. To calculate, we have 5 groups with 5 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 25 balls. Question 4. 4 times 2 equals what? So, the answer is, 4 times 2 is 8. To calculate, we have 4 groups, with 2 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 8 balls. Question 5. 6 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is, 6 times 9 is 54. To calculate, we have 6 groups, with 9 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 54 balls. Question 6. 8 times 7 equals what? So, the answer is, 8 times 7 is 56. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 7 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 56 balls. Question 7. 3 times 6 equals what? So the answer is, 3 times 6 is 18. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 6 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 18 balls. Question 8. 9 times 9 equals what? So, 
So the answer is 9 times 9 is 81. To calculate, we have 9 groups with 9 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 81 balls. Question 9. 8 times 6 equals what? So, the answer is 8 times 6 is 48. To calculate, we have 8 groups, with 6 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 48 balls. Question 10. 6 times 2 equals what? So, the answer is 6 times 2 is 12. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 2 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? And in 12 balls. Question 11. 7 times 9 equals what? So the answer is 7 times 9 is 63. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 9 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 63 balls. Question 12. 5 times 8 equals what? So the answer is 5 times 8 is 40. To calculate, we have 5 groups with 8 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 40 balls. Question 13. 3 times 6 equals what? So, the answer is, 3 times 6 is 18. To calculate, we have 3 groups, with 6 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 18 balls. Question 14. 4 times 9 equals what? So the answer is 4 times 9 is 36. To calculate, we have 4 groups with 9 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 36 balls. Question 15. 5 times 4 equals what? So the answer is 5 times 4 is 20. To calculate, we have 5 groups with 4 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 20 balls. Question 16. 
Nine times five equals what? So the answer is nine times five is 45. To calculate, we have nine groups with five balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 45 balls. Question 17. Six times two equals what? So, the answer is, six times two is 12. To calculate, we have six groups with two balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question 18. Nine times two equals what? So the answer is nine times two is 18. To calculate, we have nine groups with two balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 18 balls. Question 19. Two times two equals what? So, the answer is, two times two is four. To calculate, we have two groups with two balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? Four balls. Question 20. Two times seven equals what? So the answer is, two times seven is 14. To calculate, we have two groups with seven balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 14 balls. How many did you get right? We bet you did awesome. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to click the like button if you had fun and subscribe so you can join us for even more math quiz adventures. Let's keep the math magic alive.